I don't even know. Is it in focus? Hello! Okay. Nope. I- okay. I'm sh- Hi, I'm Shane, and I don't know what I'm doing. Why do I- is this like a- I don't- I feel like sometimes I do this thing with my eye. Because I can see it in the glass, I'm like, wah, wah, wah. I'm- I don't- I decided to ask a handful of my friends what they individually do to make themselves feel better when they're feeling down, cranky. We all can be a little cranky at times, I can. So, hopefully uh, some of these tips will help you and maybe some of them you already do on your own. But with that being said, there's 10 simple steps, I don't know why I'm pointing at you, I'm sorry, to make you happier. So if I'm feeling blue, something that I feel helps me is to write down what I'm feeling so I get the thoughts like off my mind and you know like I can externalize what I'm feeling internally. Whoa. Especially uh, for people who don't like to vent to other people. Yeah. I'm so bad at sharing my feelings. Yeah. I think the act of writing it out instead yeah. of just like typing it, mm -hmm. that also is like much more therapeutic. Oh yeah. I, I get up. I move. Shimmy it off. Dance it out. Moving, it gives you endorphins, gets you out of where you're at and gets you thinking about other things and it just makes you happy. I find it that making something makes me feel happy. Doing something with my hands, like arts and crafts kind of thing. Whether it's sewing, which I'm not really good at sewing, but just like... Is that how you sew? That's how I sew. All right. One thing I do is I try to smile as much as I can, and I know it sounds really simple, but it's actually proven to release endorphins into your body. Jane. <laughs> <laughs> it's very contagious, see? See? Um, when I'm feeling like stressed or sad, I like to go watch comedy videos, YouTube videos. It just lifts me up when I'm like, ah! You know? Yeah. But I think that moving is a great solution for all of us. And I would agree. Because you said it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's your idea. To everybody, move it, come here, take their arm off the screen. It was not even on the screen, I don't think. So what I like to do when I'm stressed out or I'm having a bad day is I call like a friend or a family member. It's important to have like this close friends and family that you can call, you know, where you can talk about something that's bothering you and they can kind of be like that soundboard to kind of, you know, help you through it. Now like everyone's like so well, relaxed and texting stuff. Yes. It's like an inconvenience to like call someone. So I think it's important to still have that interaction where you're actually talking to someone. I love music. Music always makes me so happy. It can change my mood from, you know, just being kind of like, eh, today's not such a great day, to like listening to my favorite artist, and I just like become happy. When I don't feel good, I like to meditate. Just keep it really simple. I like to sit for five minutes and just focus on my breath. She's meditating right now to show us how you do it. Yes. Oh. So one thing that I do is, and you know this because I've texted you about this before, is especially when there's a full moon, go for a walk. I make like a playlist of like music I want to stomp around town to and I put my phone on airplane mode so I shut everything off. I just disappear and I walk. You remember Brandy, her album, Full Moon? <laughs> of course oh, I do. Okay, I am so sorry. I had a Brandy poster in my bedroom. You though. did? Oh. Don't talk to me like I don't know about Brandy. I'm sorry. I'm I am Brandy like... obsessed. Who does the last relative that you call? My grandmother. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. I call my grandmother every week. She's not the one with flip phones. Okay. She's not the one that flips open. Like, I think she's like charging to get it to answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not true. He's lying. Um. <laughs> Hell, even just 
write a greeting card and send it to someone. You can the make power a of greeting writing, card. You can make it, which I'm all Cause for. Because you want to use your hands. Yeah, use that construction paper, fold it in half, you know, hot dog or hamburger, <laughs> whatever you want. And a lot of studies have proven that the act of creating or doing for somebody else right. actually enhances your happiness, enhances your mood more than the person who receives. Wow. It's actually proven scientifically that slowing down your breath, it causes your heart rate to slow down. It actually de-stresses you. True, there are lots of different types, lots of different ways to And lots of different breathing techniques, I'm sure. Yes. I'm yeah. no expert. But there is like a panting breath where you're like... <laughs> oh, for type of meditation? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So what I like to do if I'm not feeling too happy, I guess, is make a conscious effort to be happy. Just make that decision that, oh, today I'm going to be happy. Kind of like not letting one thing ruin your day or your week. We all have to accept that bad things are going to happen. There's no way around it, but it's kind of how you choose to react to that and deciding deciding to be happy because happiness is a decision. Why are you wearing Jeez, shoes on the bed? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh, don't touch my legs, I'll hurt you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell everybody this. What does that mean? Why? Wrinkles. Because oh. I haven't shaved. I haven't shaven. <laughs> Smile, though your heart is breaking. Smile. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed. Why? Oh, I, okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. I. I hope that you, okay. I hope you enjoyed the video and that there are some things that you learned that you can incorporate into your own life to help you feel happier. I am just getting into this uh, routine of making videos and I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you want me to continue kind of making videos like this? I'm open to pretty, pretty much anything. Uh, not, look at that, made it seem so anyway, um, if you have subscribed, please subscribe and make sure to share the video and comment and like it and give it a thumbs up. I think that's all the things that I'm supposed to say at the end of a YouTube video. I'll see you next Friday, I hope. And if you don't come back, I kind of understand because I'm awkward. Okay. Thank you. Yep. We're done. I'm, I'm sorry you guys, I'm that I made this so much more difficult. I'll get better, I think, I hope, okay. You're beautiful. I'm praying for some reason. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that scared me. Okay, that scared me. Wait, why are you so calm about it? Guys, it was you screaming it for me. Okay, that's the what? rose petal like fell apart. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? I didn't see it. What? I didn't see it. And you we're just like over here. Right? Yeah. At first, I thought something. You thought something happened, but then you said, "Why are you so calm?" Right. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why are you There's calm? There's a monster over there. Okay, you can't see it because it's there behind was you. Um, <laughs> Flower petals fell, <laughs> which is it's terrifying. Right. So, oh, okay. so. That was scary. I just need a moment. <laughs>